Yo, my glasses are dirty. Uh, freaking eyelashes. I don't have anything planned out at all. All I did was <laughs> more digging and then laying down the glowstone so I could figure out uh, the spacing. <laughs> but this is sort of like how I do my sky platforms if before I put anything down. <clears throat> And then even when I do that, there's patterns that show up. And I always use the X or the diagonal all the time. And it just became a habit. And what it did is it helped me to find the center of a space without having to count, doing a count for anything. Made it easier because then it's, uh, then you make mistakes. It's a lot easier to make mistakes when you're just counting. And then when I would do that, um, patterns would show up. So each sky platform would just had no plans and it would just make itself. And then colors would just show up in my head. But, oh my God, this is I gotta be a lot of fucking work. Oh my god. Not just the pattern. I mean, I don't, not the patterns, but putting down all the sand, counting everything. The pattern part is gonna be the fun part. Is putting, uh, putting all the sand down <laughs> first because there's a lot. Oh my god. Then I went around, dug up, and cleaned up the edges. So, yeah. So I was like, um, pointing, like, um, sectioning every part off. I could find the center um it would make it easier for me to count and decide where i'm going to put the patterns and of course x always shows up and then there was more synchronicities in the symbol ing uh which i work with the rune ing a lot a lot, a lot, ing, and uh, of course X always shows up, and X is almost like in every ruin, it's weird, and X shows up <laughs> everywhere, so it's very important, the X and then the diamond, or the triangle, and then the Merkava and the pyramid, like over and over and over and over and over again, and then I saw a video from someone who's very, very spiritual and gives like alternative, like the type of information I gave, I give, and he was talking about the pyramid and the triangle and the Merkaba, and then certain um, Qigong exercises that are related to that, where you can actually manipulate time and energy. And he was talking, he has an ing meditation. So I'm saying like, I don't know if it's just my group, Certain people receive certain similar messages and their focuses are the same. And, and it's the answer to like a lot of stuff. Energy manipulation, um, where we come from, our spirituality, and I'm just barely learning that. Barely, barely. Barely. So it's like weirding me out, all the synchronicities. So 
So I cleaned this up. Cleaned it up. Did the edging. Decided where the border of it was going to be. And I'm saying when you're on your path, when you're right where you're supposed to be, you get synchronicities like all fucking day. You don't have to look for them. Nothing. Just synchronicity, synchronicity, synchronicity. Like like the universe is just talking to you nonstop. And then it guides you to people that are just like you, who are on that same frequency, receiving the same messages. And it's cool. It lets you know you're right where you're supposed to be. And there's no struggle. Oh, I didn't finish this up. I turned the game sounds really, really low. It pissed me off in that one video. The fucking game sounds were all the way up. I don't know. Eh. Especially since I had set it down really low before. And then since so I've I had it like that for a while, I was like it didn't make me think to like recheck it. Like why would I need to recheck it? Uh, 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 uh. Then I, I slept. I woke up and I ate and I was like super tired. And so I was like, I'm just going to meditate on some healing stuff and working on the chakras. And I know that when I do that, it puts me into a lucid dream. And then uh, having a weird ass I ended up falling asleep and then having a weird ass fucking dream where my dad was alive. My mom wasn't there. My mom wasn't there. My son was there and his crazy ass friend was there. The one that like is dark. And was talking about that I needed to be euthanized and that I was the devil. The one that like lost his shit over a girl and just went totally dark when he was he he wasn't like that before. And he was there. And then a fucking weird ass dream. And he was there in my house and my dad was living in my house but it wasn't this life it was a little different and um i don't know why he was staying with me like i didn't i don't know why because it was a different life so he was staying with me my son was staying with me and my this was it wasn't in this house it was a little, it was different it was same but it was different and um and we got up one day and the thing that was the same was in that house i still hadn't turned on my air conditioner and it was getting hot 
and then the day of the dream that I got up, well, right before I woke up, someone had gotten, because you, when you make kimchi, the spicy uh, cabbage, you use like this red powdered, it's almost like the chili, but it's like bigger pieces. And someone like meticulously, I don't know, they made a paste or something. And like the lower part of my wall, did they even do it on my floor? I think it was just my wall. They like painted it meticulously. It was like, it wasn't done sloppy with the rag. It was like done with like a sponge on my walls, the lower half of half of the wall. And I was pissed and I was asking who did it. And I, and I was thinking it was my son's friend, but he was denying it, but he was being a smart ass about it. And I was pissed. Because I was like, I have to clean all that up. It was throughout the whole house. And I'm still trying to think what the red chili symbolized and what that meant. But my mom wasn't there, but my dad was living with me. And then, um, <laughs> like some of my dreams have weird physics in it. Some of them have like totally different physics than what we have. And then in some of my dreams, I can go God mode where I can become like, experience what a person's experiencing, like go in their body and be in their perspective or go into a third person mode and it's watch what everybody's doing or experiencing seeing and then i can actually feel what they're feeling i could pick it's weird and in this one i went i was upset and i was gonna well i had a weird feeling that i would find out information who put the red chili on my walls. And I went into this weird God mode as if I was flying around like in Minecraft. And I had this urge to go to this uh, big apartment complex, but it reminded me of, it kind of looked like Minecraft. And it was like Minecrafty, but then all of a sudden, um, it became less Minecrafty and actually became like real, real. And then like the, the design became real, like real brick, uh, real people. Because at first it looked Minecrafty and then it just kind of transitioned into real. And when it did that, I ended up, my stepsister lived in an apartment complex right next to that one. And I ended up in her apartment. Like I went to visit her. It was <laughs> it was a weird dream and I was talking to her and she was doing hair she was doing hair then I was like telling her I was like yeah I've been having weird stuff happen and I was mentioning it to her and then my stepmom showed up but she didn't talk to me It was just weird. It was a weird dream. And then the chili on the wall, walls, meticulously put on the walls, like sponged on perfectly. In different like layers, shrieks, like if you got a paint roller. And I was like, I was like, who the fuck did that? That took time to do it like that. Like they did it perfect, like no shrieks or anything. It was the weirdest shit. And then do it like not make noise. Apparently no one noticed while we were asleep. And then I wake up and the whole house is covered in it. The lower part of the walls. Should I push it up? Ugh. Push it up. 
dig some more. I have some of the weirdest fucking dreams and I could tell they're like different realms or different lifetimes or something. <laughs> There's like sometimes different neighborhoods, different people or the same people, different situations, different relations to each other. my mom wasn't there and then I don't realize how different it what it is until I wake up because it's like I'm a different person in the dream so I'm like there's no reason for me to be curious about anything It was weird. The fucking chili. I just sat there and just painted chili. The Korean chili on my walls. And then now I'm like thinking about it. It was either someone, I don't know, I think it was magic. I know that sounds weird. And it meant something. It wasn't just someone just trolling me. Oh, and then that earlier with that person when they were doing talking about the Merkaba and then a certain type of Tai Chi that enhances your energy and something about manipulating time and and um and he had a figure when he was doing the certain exercise he overlaid a diagram like watermarked a, a video of the Merkaba and the triangle shifting over him and he was like that's the shape that he sh different shapes that he does for the exercise and and then it dawned on me like that figure that I'm seeing that X that light that star is the Merkaba uh, right side triangle and an upside down triangle in motion and it makes that shape. And that shape representing spirit and the ethers also. So it's a certain type of energy and and I think even like angelic energies take that shape or to our eyes can look like that and then that shape has power within itself and i think maybe we look like that i don't know working with that energetically it's harder for, i guess since I'm new to it, I didn't want to break any of the big trees. I don't like breaking the big trees. Like it bugs me to even break trees in here. I feel bad. Sounds crazy, eh? Like to me, everything has life. Everything. Because everything was made out of God. All of this. Every bit of it is living.
He just interacts with the environment differently than we do. So I know the X and the triangle are very important. I'll be learning that slowly but surely. I guess I'll be talking about it as I learn it. And and I know there's like traditional teachings on it, but I know that's important, but I, the way they teach me is like a little bit slightly off. And that's why I know like a lot of it, they don't want me to learn the traditional way. They want to teach me a little bit different. So they don't want me to have some uh, dogma stuck in my head. Like the way they wanted me to learn about magic and energy and chakras and reality. have me see things differently and that's why I don't copy I don't like to copy usually I'll get a, like I already have an idea of something and then I'm a little confused on it and then maybe I'll hear something from someone else it's a confirmation but it's more of a clarity clarification some of it's like so weird like some of it's so weird for my consciousness and that's why they they have to use other avenues to relay the information to me sometimes a movie another person because like i just can't my conscious mind is like struggling with it <laughs> my conscious mind is like get the fuck out of here with that shit the fuck is that <laughs> Yeah, my conscious mind talk shit too. I have to turn up the game sounds a little, it just sounds like total silence. My headset working. How loud is it in the game?
No joke. I think someone has. I know it sounds like I'm sounding. I'm paranoid because I'm I'm familiar with like especially with Xbox, the hacking and the lagging and stuff like that. I know what it feels like. This feels like someone's actually cloned my Xbox. Where they're act they're seeing everything I'm doing on another Xbox and they're cloning uh my Minecraft. This is what it feels like. Cuz I've had someone uh actually you know um phone my xbox but they were trying to investigate what was going on with the hacking they wanted to see everything i was uh seeing so this it feels like this and i could hear it in my xbox too And the fact that fucking coming on my fucking Minecraft and there's a different map pack open. So everything looked totally fucking different. When I hadn't touched my map packs. Because this is the only one I mess with. I've tried the other ones, I didn't like them. the GPS lagging. I swear though, everything's done. <laughs> yeah. I ain't forgetting about any of this. All that I keep digging. I, need to stop. I have other shit I need to do.
Oh, I did it. No, no, that's right. Corners. I want that corners. I could feel someone really excited or really pissed off.
still think it's the British kid dreaming about someone painting chili on my wall. <laughs> and then visiting people going god mode like I'm in Minecraft. <laughs> re, 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 re. Nope. Oh, so all of it. I just brought it up to here. I was like, I am not digging all the way around. Cleaned it up. I don't know what these platforms are. They're going to be something eventually. I just don't know yet. Don't know. Work here. I'm feeding my dogs like a little snack of chicken gizzards and they fart chicken gizzards. Oh my god, it's potent. Very potent. I get excited when I find someone and that they're pretty much hearing the same messages that I'm hearing. They have their own style to it. And they're just like adding on to like the puzzle. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Did not mess up 
back up the TV. Good. And you could tell like when they're talking they're they're barely they're like still understanding and discovering the importance of the triangles and the pyramid and then he added on the circle and then I was watching a video before that and it was talking about um what was it and it was talking about the circles on there too in the edge of the Merkaba the bottom edge of the triangles when they spin they make a circle now I was just watching another video right before that about the circle And then I didn't even notice the lamp that I had bought a year and a half ago that's above my head. It's a cage where it just hangs and it's a cage and it's the, it's eight sectioned and it's the same symbol as the spirit, symbol of spirit. <laughs> I didn't even notice. And I had been staring at that thing. When I lay down, it's like a message spirit is with you. And then that figure that shows up on my TV or the, my screen representing spirit and the ethers over my head. And then I have a certain prayer that involves a uh, Shekinah being above my head when I sleep, which is source, the female aspect of source. Metatron's the male aspect. And like now I'm thinking like the only person that that would paint the red chili on my walls would be my mom. I'm assuming spiritually red chili probably means something. The color red and then the chili plant. And the fact that chili is actually good for you. If you don't have a fucking full-blown ulcer. If you haven't jacked your stomach up. Then I would assume it probably wards off negative energies. Because I know it fights parasites. And it has to do something with your yin and yang too, the heat. <laughs> but I'm still learning. very new to everything still like in shock and then having my mom did <laughs> wow 
while I'm still learning everything. Because of crazy people. I guess my mom's death had a purpose. Multiple. I had to know how serious the shit was that people were doing. And that they were doing it to a lot of people. Because I had no clue. Because to me it was just a conspiracy theory. And the fact that a lot of famous people and people with money, this is how they've gotten all of it. And the, there's some people that you think are talented, they're not actually talented. Use magic and sacrifice. Human sacrifice. And animal sacrifice. And these people act like they're nice and loving and caring and they're uh, what you would consider evil and demonic. That they would make uh, Hitler look like an angel. That's how fucked up these people are. And I had no clue. And it took, I, my mom had to die for me to know that. And, and then to not know that, and then to be around certain people who do that, especially in this type of industry, I would have been victimized and used. So my mom's death kept me safe. Made me aware how far people take it and uh, be familiar with the red flags and then the psychology of like, and it just sucks. Like I said before, like the red flags of people who are um, in the public, like most of them, they are narcissists or psychopaths, sociopaths. That's why this kind of stuff doesn't tire them. They, they, they feed off of it. Literally, they feed off of it. Like I said, the, many of them are soulless, so they don't actually have talent. They use, they use magic and other beings and entities and energy harvesting and other weird ass shit to be who they are. That it's uh, fake, stolen. All their abilities are stolen. Because you do reach to a point where if you do too much harm, the universe takes away. If you were gifted and you use it in a wrong way, the universe takes those abilities and those gifts away. What do you think happens? They have to steal it from somebody else. Because you do get karma for that shit and the universe takes it away. Well, it's somehow you block your chakras. You know, like I say, you sell pieces of your soul, which is your personality, your access to the universe to have gifts and knowledge. And when you do dark, keep doing dark shit, you lose access to all that. And it's not even a punishment. It's, 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 uh, it's just physics, math, whatever you want to call it, science. And they do that. And then they lose stuff and then they, they want to keep their position. They want to keep, you know, being able to do what they do, have clout, have money. So then they go to magic. And maybe at one point they might have been good people. But they lost themselves. They didn't want to give up. They still wanted to have all that power. They still wanted to have that money. So they had to go to magic and human sacrificing. If at any point they were naturally gifted, they lost it. That's just the way it is. You can't do fuck shit and keep doing it. You can't. It's impossible. If you had gifts, you lose them. Your ancestors abandon you. Everything. So they have to get it from somewhere. So they take it from other creatures, other beings, other people. And that's when you see all those conspiracy theories about like the Illuminati stuff and them sacrificing their family member. They, they're actually fucking doing that. And then they move on from family members to friends, to lovers, their own children. And who does that? Who does that? A fucking narcissist, a psychopath, sociopath. 
if they were like a regular person at all, they lost all that. So literally, they sold their souls for money. And they didn't even have to make a deal with the devil or anything. Just by doing that, doing negative shit, being negative, hurting other people, stealing, you, you lose pieces of your soul. You lose your gifts. Then you become fucking demonic. Literally, you lose yourself. And then I don't know, that maybe at some point you're totally fucking gone. Like I said, like, like even the walk-ins, they can't, they wait to the moment. Like you're going to die. You're going to, that's it. And then they, they place another soul in as the, the original soul's leaving, but they have to have permission. And that's the same way of someone trying to take your consciousness and these people have been doing it, getting away with it, because the person w who were they were trying to go, you know, take their body, they didn't want to be alive. They didn't want to be in that body anymore. They hated themselves. So that's what they were used to, taking the consciousness of be people that didn't want to be alive anymore. And then... it. They're doing that in society. They, they, these powers that be know what they're doing. That's why they're, they're causing trauma to people, like big events, uh, making life hard, putting out trashy food, making people sick and miserable, and then making people, like, teaching them to be helpless, thinking that they don't have any power. So then they're like, what's the point of living? Everybody should die. They don't, so taking them to the point where they don't want to be here. And what do you think happens? They get replaced, possessed. They know what they're doing. And I had totally di forgot I had discussed that in another video. And when you, when you take a person to the point where like you torture them and trauma, cause a lot of trauma, make their life, you know, a struggle, give them shitty ass food where they have malnutrition, it make it turns them into a zombie it, it's easy to mind control them it's easy to you know they they feel helpless hopeless and they want they're just easy to do whatever you want with them spiritually and psychologically and that's the same shit a narcissist does to a person it's the same shit it's dark and it's fucked up and like how do these people sit there like how do they learn this how do they, it's, some of it's kind of complicated. And then if you look at these people, not to be mean, they're kind of dumb, dumb. They're really dumb, dumbish. But how are they smart enough to figure this type of psychology out about how to manipulate people? Like when it comes to the manipulating people and doing dark shit, they're like super smart, but everything else, they're like dumb, dumbish. I want to say other words, but I don't want to get in trouble and sound mean. It's like something's wrong in their head. Like someone dropped them a whole bunch of times and shit ain't right. And their rationale is all fucked up. But yet they can psychologically manipulate people, groups of people. How the fuck does that work? How the fuck does that work? Like I could, t I'm barely learning about magic and I could talk about universal law and it seems very simple. And then these people are into like high level magic, but I'm like, um, if you know all this magic, how do you not understand universal law? That sounds dumb, and it's not like magical. The universal law, like it's in physics, and it's like, um, I think about it, I'm like, wow. And then in like in the Bible, they just call them repro reprobate. And 
And it's like they're, to me, it's like they're possessed by a being that is not actually human and was stuck in some weird spirit in between space limbo that didn't have a physical form. So it knows its time is limited here. And, and to actually have a physical body and experience everything and anything, even shit that we would consider painful, these creatures enjoy it. So that's their whole goal. Get as much feeling in, you know, like experiencing the good, the bad, and the ugly as much in as possible, as fast as possible. With no, like, rationalizing, universal law, no, nothing. And it just describes someone who's possessed. They're not in their right mind. Like that shit's broken. And it, that the being, the creature inside them or the spirit only has one agenda. As much sexing, drinking, drugging, manipulating, causing people harm, drama, chaos as possible. As much action as possible. That's all it seems like to me. without no concern for consequences because even if the consequences are bad they can jump to another person that's what it seems like to me because like the shit they do makes no sense to me or a, any other person who doesn't do that kind of shit it makes no sense <laughs> But when you think about it that way, the way I'm saying it, it makes a lot of sense. Shit. Well, it's going to be way, to put, way to down there, I guess. Fuck up the leaves. Like, to me, since I see it that way, people who have red flags, I, I have to stay away from them. Those are the ones that go and kill people. Hence why my mom's dead. This one's easy. All those leaves are going to get destroyed. So yeah, I, I wouldn't be in a polyamorous relationship, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I would have been open to it, like thought about it before, now, after all this. No, thank you, ma'am. You, you can keep it to yourself. My mom's dead. No, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, but no, thank you. I've uh, experienced my mom's death. And it was fucked up, too. Like, I know a lot about nutrition and alternative medicine, and I had fa discovered a lot of stuff, which now I've been lazy about it to reverse a lot of stuff and I had found stuff to help my mom and she was getting better and all of a sudden it wasn't working uh my mom started acting like hella crazy now I realized the moment I ran into these people it was them uh, it's because they wanted to make my life harder harder and they knew to use my use my mom and because you know dementia weakens your mind and you're not all fully fully there and it 
she was easy to manipulate and put thoughts into and um, make her do shit like decide to not walk when she had no she was fine to walk so it made her condition worse just choosing not to walk Choosing not to do anything, choosing not to cook, choosing not to do little things, not to go to her friend's house, just choo deciding just to sit in a chair. Out of nowhere, the moment I ran into these people. And then her exhibiting things where I knew she would, now I know that like she was being tortured in her sleep. Now that I got to experience what it's like when they do, like, try to hack your mind. Try to influence your moods and shit. They're having a good old time with my mom. So in this aspect, my mom isn't suffering because of them. There's karma for that, though. Guarantee you that. <laughs> and then experiencing them, like, influencing my kids. My kids are, like, already has assholes, spoiled assholes. But they may make kids go to another level of insanity. Like, irrational, like, where the fuck are you coming up with that? And then making my daughter try to put me in jail because uh, I was like, well, you should pay student loan payments instead of letting the interest occur in my name, using my income, paying nothing. And I'm like, you're not going to school. You should have been in school. You should have already been done with school. And doing nothing and I was like well you're gonna make student loan payments and that bitch was gonna be like at least seven hundred dollars a month and she was pissed off and then tried to have me arrested so she wouldn't make student have to make student loan payments or like at that you no know, not go to school and then lie on me saying I was crazy that it had nothing to do with a uh, minimum seven hundred dollar a month student loan payments yeah sure that wasn't it at all And then having, when my mom died, her just running off saying that I murdered my mom. Dude. Fucking come on. And making a big old scene on my birthday for my mom's funeral and. Like just craziness. When I bend over backwards and do everything for my mom, even though, like, she'll be mean to me and... <sighs> I'm not that type of person to do that to anybody, much less my fucking mom, the only other human being I had around me. She knows I did everything and anything above and beyond, trying to find alternative medicine, like, and... Stuff that in other countries, you know, other doctors were using. Just not stuff that, you know, not only in America and spending all kinds of money. And like, why? Why? Without having a, a fucking life insurance for my mom. Where I knew, like, my life would be even, like, the financially more struggling because I chose to stay in this house for my mom. I didn't want my the last couple years of my mom's life to suck ass without having friends or anything because I didn't want to actually didn't want to stay here. I wanted to move out of this city, this state, this house. But this was the only place like I knew my mom, you know, had friends. She didn't need a car. It was just right down the street and 
lot of friends. It was like a club up in that house. <laughs> Fucking crazy, man. I stayed here for her. And I was willing to, like, you know, not even have a boyfriend or a husband, you know. I knew I didn't have, like, that much time with my mom. I wanted her to be as happy and comfortable as possible, but... The craziness, man. Once I ran into these people, my mom's behavior just took another fucking... Was another level of meanness and being a jerk and... And I didn't, I didn't know people had that capability to do that, to manipulate someone's mind like that. Now I know. And that was to teach me, to keep me safe, to be aware of what people do and how far they take it, and to stay away from these people, and to teach about it. At least my mom's not suffering anymore. And then I'm like, I'm thankful my dad wasn't alive. They would have really fucked with my dad, used him and shit. I just feel sorry for like all the other people who've went through this already and weren't even aware of it and probably still aren't even aware of it. And then other people have been, who've lost everything over it, having no clue that this shit was going on because of having crazy people around them doing all kinds of black magic and weird ass shit and fucking mind games and that these people are sadistic and they take pleasure out of controlling other people's lives and stealing like it's a game to them and causing harm and not getting caught like they enjoy it another level I don't know why I'm doing trees I should be doing my fucking stand I have so much to do probably because I'm tired of it I've dug so fucking much oh my god I'm like I don't want to look at it I don't want to look at it do my fucking minor break I was gonna go do the diamond finish the diamond that bitch has been sitting there for a little bit it's like abandoned it Like, this is relaxing. It's relaxing for a little bit, and then you get tired of it. For me, it's relaxing. Your ass is probably like, oh, this is boring. Bitch, but you're talking about crazy shit. Yep. And it has a shock factor. And you know what's crazy? That shock factor is like therapy for you. You know that? It takes you away from your reality. My shit, the shit, even if you don't believe in it, the shock factor, like, takes you away from your... It, whatever shit you're dealing with in your reality and it becomes therapy that's how that shit works even the jokes and the shit i talk about even though you don't believe in it or you might think i'm insane the shock factor is therapy for you it takes you away from your shit i need to um outline this <laughs> should i Fuck, it's going to bother me, though, if I don't. I have to. It didn't take that long, though. Well, that for me, like, I'm talking, and then it just goes fast. And then I'm like, oh, I'm done. Or I'm like another part of Minecraft. <laughs> another, almost like another, another fucking planet and shit. In the middle of nowhere. 
I'm like, eh, I'll get back. Hit the circle. If I wasn't playing creative, my ass would be scared. Because I'd gotten lost so many times. Gave up. And I would lose my fucking compound and would fucking give up and shit. Be like, fuck it. I was like, I wasn't going to do creative. I was like, I got lost. Try to play it off. It's still. I have to remind myself. It still hurts thinking about my mom and everything. Everything all together. And I have to like crack jokes. And switch my mind to something else. So much of it is so fucking dark. And these people that like hate themselves so much that they're willing to invite a entity inside them, like invite it <laughs> in hopes to have gifts and money and power and or maybe like they wanted someone to love be with them or and then to like see visions of it and then feel the energy where it makes you want to vomit to me like that is ooh, out there out there like me very disturbing oh there's fucking ice out in this bitch how much of this is that land like oh shit i have to And I wish I could tell you guys all the weird shit I barely noticed. Like, it's not a little bit weird. It's, like, blatantly weird. Like, everything that I've talked about. All the numbers and stuff. How the numbers are, like, everywhere. Like, not just, like, one number. It's, like, combinations of numbers. In, like, e everything for me. And then even... The street I live on, the main streets by my house, the streets that every street I've been on. <laughs> All the symbology that applies right now. Like nothing has been on accident. Nothing. Even the schools I've went to. I wish I could give you guys details, but then it would just give away too much. But I guess later on it'll be in a book. <laughs> it'll be a weird ass book. And you won't be you'll think I'm full of shit. But then it's 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 truth, it's facts. You could research it after like all this shit is done and I have security and protection and money and stuff like that, then I can release the information. And then you'll weird out about my life. Everything about my life. Shit that I can't. Like certain things like my social security number. I can't. I couldn't make that up. That it was already chosen for me the moment I was born. The street I was. I lived in. You know. All my adolescent life. And then all the streets even currently now. And then all the other stuff 
that I can't make up. Like I can't, I didn't sit there like, oh, I want to change my name and choose this name. So it'll represent, no, no, none of that shit. Like shit that like I couldn't intentionally do. And it'll prove later on in the book, it'll prove to people like all the synchronicities it, when you're on your path, if you're, if you're going the right way. You are where, boy, get the, yeah, get out that hole. There's going to be a funky hole there. I have to go if I get water. Make me miss with the damn water. Like, people want to mimic it. Co you can't copy that shit. The stuff is just weird. And I didn't even notice this till like the other day I was driving. And I was looking at all the streets. And then I was thinking about the street I grew up on. And then every street afterwards. And then the schools. And a whole bunch of other stuff. That you can't fake. And there's other, I got little downloads, they're darker. I hate going there. I hate going there. And I know me being celibate saved my life. Me being celibate saved my life. And the fact I wasn't uh, polyamorous or gay or bisexual, it saved my life. And I realize how important for me it is, for me, because of who I am. And then the stuff that people that do dark stuff, they're on they they're involved in that. So it's dangerous for me. Or my kind. And that's why a lot of us were called to be hermit hermits, uh isolate, self isolate and um be celibate. A lot of us have been celibate for a couple of years. A lot of us, most of us, that's how I know who my group is. Most of us have been celibate.
Or at least the females have. <laughs> I don't know about the males. I haven't met too many fucking divine masculines. Or whatever we call them. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Look the- Okay, that was weird. But whatever. Where the fuck? How big is this? Oh my god. Okay. Shit. We're more than... At least we're more than halfway done. I thought it was way smaller. That creepy ass cross right there. Sitting there in the... Fucking all by itself. <laughs> fucking the state we're in with fucking divine masculine is gonna be fucking uh what is it called a like a rare product this fucking rate I mean, like, that the fucking divine, actual divine feminine was a fucking rare breed. No, an actual divine masculine, that's another level. It's the fucking divine feminines and masculines. Well, it's not just their sperm and their egg that's going to be valuable. Their children are going to be very valuable. What? Oh, shit, I could do it like that. Uh, yeah. Literally the new breed. And then I think sometimes the X represents celestial blood, celestial blood DNA. I've seen that pattern too. So 
celestial blood DNA and walk-ins and it isn't just the person's DNA it's the walk-ins that they get you can get angelic and you could get demonic walk-ins it goes both ways I am back home. <sighs> and then I know for me, the infatuation with the sand and the Pyramids involve some Egyptian shit. And oh, look at that again. I don't know. I wanted to do like an. I don't know. It looks like a fucking little kid's puzzle piece right there. I still don't know how I'm doing this. But I'm a, uh, I actually wanted to do viral. The green is too much. But if I didn't have the white line. What is it like without the white line? There's something I miss There's something somewhere I'm not thinking. Don't 
tell you like it tell you how to say it. I like it too big. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Oh, pick a shoe. Right there, right there. Right there, right there. Turn out the lights. Yeah, mama, 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 hey, let's go. My mama, my mama, hey, let's go. What color would have looked? Who, who fucking made that? We used to do that. <laughs> we just let someone pick a random one. Because sometimes some people would count how many players there were and actually figure it out in their head what was their better, which rhyme to pick to use so they could get what they wanted. Comes up with that. I know there's a weird pattern or something. Do you understand? Do you understand? Oh shit. Do you understand what I say to you? Do you understand? Do you understand what I tell you all the time? Maybe you do and maybe you don't. Do you understand? Ping pong, ping pong. Do you understand? Do you do you understand? No, bitch. Yeah. Yes. Fucking call out to your honey baby, Olivia. Bring me another drink. Yeah. How do you know he loves you? He calls me vieja when he wants a drink. All right. That's cool. It still looks like a fucking photo of me. Still does. Still does.
Do you know she loves you? He call, uh, she calls me pendejo. He's my meal. Mm. He's my meal. Oh, shit. A vieja, vieja, viejo. Caca, 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 And then it's gonna just be this weird ass shit with like fifty million colors. Watch. I don't know. I'll probably be doing something like what for what I wanted to do. Yeah, I guess started like here and then we're gonna go like here and then there. I don't know. I could easily turn this uh like a spiral. Look like a fucking sky frame turned into a spiral. Like a cute boy. Looks like Legos. It's like Legos, bitch. Or I could just make it really stupid. Like. I should do it over there. Oh my god, wrong one. Well, I mean... Right there, right there. Oh, how did you start out your videos? Oh, everybody just watched me talking to myself. Yeah, they listened to me talk to myself. That's all I did, yeah. All I do is a talker to myself. And apparently the neighborhood was cool with it.
Oh, Oh my lord. Why? Why does it, why? Stand down. Oh, my God. Oh, nope. I'm supposed to do that. Like which way you're supposed to go? Oh, we just follow the arrows. Just follow them, yeah. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We just follow them. You cannot follow them no more. Then I keep wanting fucking it up trying to add colors and shit. Right there. Okay. Keep picking up shit along the way. Nah. Maybe it's another design, I don't know. Is that a hole? It's like too much color, I think. Or the other. Jesus. Well, I'll go with the plain. That I don't know what's going on here. And then there's a fucking that's there. Can you tell me? No, you're not. <laughs> you keep adding it. You're just gonna keep doing it. Maybe I don't know. Oh, not right now. Oh. 
Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, you want to know what to do. Oh, you want to know what to do. Oh, you want to know what to do. And then four and eight are important numbers too, and the other person was mentioning it too. And involving the pyramid sixty four. Four and eight. We can even go even further. You want to do it like that. I'm just looking, don't complain. You're the one that's not, you're the one that's imitating a bot and not fucking talking. So you have to tolerate what the fuck ever the fuck I want to do or say. I'm the boss. You have to obey. Silence. <laughs> fucking. Yeah, you better take it like that. Oh my god, I could talk fucked up. I am not. Oh my lord. The bitch in me was saying some shit right now. Like, yay, can we talk, talk like that? Can we? Are you letting us? Are you letting us? No! No! <laughs> oh my god, so when do we get in trouble? Motherfuckers will get in trouble. Yeah, they would. I would. I would. Damn, I would get in trouble. That potty mouth. I would greatly a friend a friend. Offend some motherfuckers. Yes, you would, ho. Yes, you would, bitch. Just saying. <laughs> but that's their fault because they ain't talking. So it's almost like, it's almost like I got to expose myself. Wait. 
Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh no, that's right, that's right. That's right, bitch, that's right. Wait. Calm down your Pinocchio. I'm gonna have to erase you, I'm sorry. Maybe in another realm. Oh my god, I get in the hole. It was good while it lasted. Thank you for working with us here at Spectrum. Oh, and I was looking up. Oh, I can't even look on my phone. I have to reset my app and shit because of the hackers, whatever the fuck that shit's about. Messing with my apps. But it was another... Demon slash angel, because many of them were named demons when Christianity came about because they were just spirits. But there are some like legit, like demonic energies. There's different types. But, um, it was another demon out of that demon deck I was looking up and, uh, like it comes out in different types of literature and in, in the Bible in reference to this name. And it mentioned Peacock again and something about it being uh, great. But then in other literature, it describes it as like demonic, but in other literature, it's like a king or something. And then Peacock came up again. And the peacock has to represent <sighs> I know it's it means something. I'm trying to figure it out. The pattern of it. The way it keeps popping back up. And I think <sighs> like how I say like there's different gods and deities, there are energies or beings that throughout the thousand years, thousands and thousands of years, it's the same being. It's the same spirit, but for it to adapt to society or the part of the world that it's in, so the people can it can relate to the people. They they give it names. It has different names, but it's the same being. And I think it means a certain group of beings, celestial beings. With this peacock and the um, X. And I think like at a different time, um, in a different culture, they would probably have a different type of symbol or a color or an energy or, but it's the same being or energy. They just give it a different name. And I think there's a certain group I guess there's different levels of grouping for you to understand who and what they are. And I'm trying to figure out the pattern. I know I talk weird. I know my brain's weird. It's different, it's very different. It has always been very different. And that's why I see things other people don't see and I weird people out all the time. I'm fine with it. I like myself. I'm able to do and see a lot of things and explain things that other people can't in a different way. Some things are very easy to understand the way I say and some things are just too much. I'm fine with that, but I like it. It's interesting. It's definitely not fucking boring for me. And to think I used to hate myself. 
because I was so different. I wanted to be normal like everybody else. I thought everybody was happy. <laughs> no, bitch. They're just very confused. They were trying to, they were trying to fucking get you confused. When they, not to be mean, I'm not fucking tooting my own horn. When they were just trying to, they wanted to actually be me. They fucking hated it. And then they were trying to convince me not to be me while they're trying to be me. Go figure. So they were convincing me to hate myself. <laughs> and it was just a reflection of them hating themselves. And I thought they were living it, living, they had a better life. No, they were confused and miserable. And I almost fell for it. And was suicidal most of my life. Confused about my sexuality most of my life. That's fucking crazy, right? Barely started figuring myself out around like 35. I'm fucking 46. Barely, barely knew myself. Barely. Last couple of years, barely started like actually liking myself. That's pretty fucked up. Just because of the people I was around. <laughs> Thought I was lesbian most of my life. <laughs> And the fucked up part is like all the females I kept running into just were acting crazy. Like fucked up crazy. So it was like there was no one I could be lesbian issue with. I guess that was a good thing too, right? Or else I probably wouldn't be alive right now. I'd be all fucked up. Went from shit relationship to shit relationship. Don't you just like that shit relationship? And then I sat there and had shit relationships with myself. Because I believed everybody else. All the f what? Stop. Shit. Game. Internet. Wow, it lags and it fucking doesn't put the thing in there. That's some dick shit. Dick and shit, do they go together? <laughs> Sometimes, I guess. Sometimes they're in the same space. Dick and shit. But I guess so. Ha ah, ha, that was funny, ha ah, ha ha. Don't get offended. If you get that offended, you shouldn't listen to me. At all. I am too much for you. You're... The JJ is too soft, so... I don't pamper for JJ's. Ooh, not I. I fucking punch that bitch. Is it soft? Does this hurt? Does this hurt? I keep on punching it. It gets so swollen, you walk off. You can't do it anymore. You're like, you're mean. Yes, I am. And my mom's fucking dead, so fuck you. Yep. And you're like, oh, you had to go there again. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I shan't not forget, so you shan't not either. I think about her like a gazillion times a day and try not to cry. So I shall punch her vajayjay every chance I get.
And I'll be like Rick James. I'll make sure I have a ring that has it imprinted or a picture of my mom or something. Just fucking punch that JJ and mark that bitch. Just saying. I shan't not forget, so shan't not you if I have to try to keep from not crying a gazillion times a day. Continent, continent, la 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 Don't go watch out for that tree. Anybody remember that? Only the old ones does. The old ones. One, two, three. Only the old ones. Wow, 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 wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. How am I gonna? Oh my god, my. I have fucking tons of fucking gemstones in my fucking sports bra and my boobies. Right now, it itches. It itches. And then sometimes it'll sting because it itches really bad. How am I doing this? The corner is gonna be have to like. Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just randomly fucking throw it down. It would have it's four of them, right? No, three. Oh, I have to go higher. Power to the people, eh? Watch, I'm doing this and I'm going to do a total different thing on erase all this. Or I should just... Be free! Do I want color or not? Okay, we're gonna have a vote. <laughs> yeah, right, bitches. You bots, you don't vote. And I wouldn't be amazed, like, I have it in my head that you guys are fucking showing other people this shit. Like, it shows one name, but, like, probably, like, 100 people are watching and shit. That's what I think. The host with not a host. The cover up. Bitch. That's what I think. That's what I think. It was one name, but it's probably like a hundred people. Oh, well, that goes with the three and the four. The four is supposed to be divinity. 
And then the 144 from the 12 tribes, 12 times 12, 144. Forty four represents divinity. And then when you total them together, was ascension eight. So three, four, and eight, three, six, nine. Who do we appreciate? And then sixty nine is in cancer. Representing the sun and the moon. And in yang, light and dark. Perfect twin to itself. Balance of the light and the dark. And if you knew all my numbers and shit like you'd be like, that's fucking impossible. Yep, it's possible. And all my numbers, if I could show you, you'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Looks like someone did that shit on purpose. Yes, it does. If you only knew. If you only knew. I don't even know when this is where there's where this is. Uh, 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 uh. I keep it. You guys want to vote? No. The colors are so pastelly. Oh lord, I fucked it up. Uh, should I just scoot it backwards instead of all of that? Would have watched me fuck it up if I scoot it backwards. Let's see what happens. Well, fucking, I guess I'll regret it later, right? Let's scoot it backwards. One, two, three. Oh, wait, I was going to leave spaces? Was I? I'm tripping. One, two, three. I was going to leave spaces, right? Oh my god, I'm itching on my nipple. In the rocks. I was supposed to leave a space. Fucking shot. Now I have to like. I blame you. But I blame you, but. What the but? I blame the bot. It's the bot's fault. One, two, three, in a space. I have to shift them all. Fucking A. That's a lot, a lot of. That here. That's what happens when you're just saying. You already know how that goes. You fuck up all crazy. You're not in silence. Oh, and then, and then, and then, and then, and Batman. Fucking. Uh -huh. 
Uh, if I had a laptop, uh, oh, my dog farted, gizzard fart. I take like a deep breath, and I'm like, yep, it's the gizzard fart. <sighs> It's the motherfucking gizzard part. What fucking gizzard are you talking about? I'm talking about chicken gizzard, yo. They like them chicken gizzards. The farts are fucking amazing. They're very distinctive. Like, yep, yeah, that's a chicken gizzard. Maybe you should stop feeding your animals chicken. They like the chicken gizzard, though. Even though it's very distinctive in my nares. Very in the stuffing just saying it tastes very good in the stuffing Oh, wrong way. Ah, suck, but um, oh, yeah, right. I could do you see a panel here like that. Do a panel. A big figure. I could even separate it in different panels, smaller panels. Like Okay, if I could find if I have triangle figures, I could do like four. 
Or I could actually do square four four. Or there's different ways to go about this man. You guys want to vote on it? No, okay. You guys have to just watch what I want to do. All right. I was gonna let you guys pick, but fuck you. I'm gonna do whatever I want to talk about, whatever I want. But apparently, some motherfuckers just kill it. <laughs> it's like they try to live my life, which is weird. I don't understand. And all my illnesses are their illnesses. All like all my stories are their st which is weird as shit. And the people who know me, that's even weirder. The people who know and are cool with it. Instead of being like, dude, what's wrong with you? Like, I, have, I see all these scenarios in my head or these, like, what? what? I don't want to bury you. Get out. I don't want to smack you either. In the Chinese thing, I'm a rabbit. I'm good luck. So, like, get out. Go somewhere else. I'm busy. Just like go that way. Go go that way. Think go that yeah. There you go. Stay right there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Stay over there. If you're a zombie, I just dig a hole and bury you. <laughs> bury you, you're lucky. You're lucky I've come from the tribe of the rabbit. Yes. The rabbit actually represents good luck in different fucking... I don't want to call that ideologies, cultures, whatever. That predator repeats with the rabbit. The rabbit. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh lord. Now it's all messed up. I have to repack my fucking sports bra and organize it later. Organize the goods. The gemstones. I'm talking about the gemstones. Keep, keep yourself to yourself. And <laughs> I'm not going to listen. It's only going to be what I want to talk about. Not the thing. Keep your telepathy. That's how it goes. I'm not down with that shit. You play in the fucking real world. You understand? Yes, ma'am. There you go. That's good. I don't play for that pussy ass telepathy shit. Or that. I sent you a song. I don't give a fuck. I don't. Your hacking to yourself and your telepathy to yourself. Motherfuckers like thinking, oh, she's a mind reader. She has to know what I think of. No, no, no. I've blocked everybody out. I have. Just let you know. My guides only give me what's important that I should know. That's a priority for my safety or a message for somebody. Other than that, I don't know. Okay, okay. Just so FYI. I know shit, but it's filtered to keep myself sane. I don't know what you're thinking or anything else or how you're feeling. Only priority messages come through. 
as my guide see so i don't know everything i don't feel what you feel i don't see what you think i don't know shit. so you just having an imaginary conversation with yourself is not with me so i don't know if my guides could don't consider that message important i don't get it there's a filter the universe filters for me or i go crazy listening to other people's shit. in actuality some of you motherfuckers are having a relationship and a conversation with your own self that you think i'm involved in no no my dogs are fighting again mm-hmm gizzard gizzard eating dogs infested aromatherapy <laughs> gizzard bit kind of stinks but then you get used to it and it kind of you're like yes that's what it smells like through someone else's intestine yes your dog's intestine amazing that's amazing it's amazing yes it's amazing I have a feeling it's going to end up being weird, right? Let me try to take it down to this corner before I do a long fucking line over there. It might be funky. And then I'm going to have to do some weird figure or something. Make it go together. Stare at it for two hours. I did the bird do outward. Oh, okay, if I did it this way, what would it look like? Uh, oh, oh. Oh my God! It actually didn't turn out all funky. And The Lord is with us. Jesus. Oh, the fucking pattern might be weird. The pattern, but I guess we'll figure it out when we get there. And probably it'll, no one will notice unless they watch this video or stare at it and shit. Unless they hack my shit into a tour of exotics fucking Minecraft. And then fucking stare at it and be like "Ooh, she fucked up well you can fucking suck a dick you build your own fucking minecraft and do your own designs your own don't copy me have your own ideas don't copy me and then come up with something amazing instead of staring at my shit literally staring at my shit it's not shit but it's my shit Instead of bitching about my shit, design your own shit. shit. We're looking at my shit. Oh, wrong, wrong fucking stand thing. I fucking wanted to be out of the desert because my other realm was in the desert so I can design the desert. Go figure, right? I got out of the desert so I can turn a, a snow area into desert. Why would I do that? That would have been way easier, right? If it was just already desert? Because it seems like I cut down all the fucking trees. Oh... How weird, huh? Like I was tired of the desert. I was like, I don't want to be in the desert. Been in the desert for so long, and then I fucking make the desert.
Why, why do you want to fucking do that? Oops. How many deserts you got? Oh shit, putting sand in the sand. All the way down. Go back up. Be less stressful. Less stressful. Oh shit. I hate it. I tense up too. Because I'm like, get it right. If I was fucking doing some drugs, you'd be like, it's, it's, no, I'm not doing drugs. But it would look like I was doing drugs. Like my whole body participates in it. My toes, my neck, my shoulders. Everything participates. Like your toes even get a tension headache? Probably, they probably do. They probably do. That was the internet. That was it. That was the internet. Fucking jerk my head down. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Going down. Like Ford and McDonald's assembly line. Oh. You have to concentrate. I need to play some zombies. How oh, instant friends you got? None. H. June has friends. Saw that on his title of his video or his stream. He's got friends now. I'm proud of H. June. Oh, shit. We're moving up in the world. We're actually trying to be social. In a healthy, balanced way. I can't play with H because I don't have a laptop. Can I play with the other Asians? Because the creepy people have issues. 
because apparently they want karma of, of isolation and being controlled by another being or the government, apparently. They don't understand. You don't do that unless you want it done it to you. So they tell the universe that you want it done to you. And then you get mad when it's done to you because that's the rules. You put the e you sit in energy that uh, uh, when you do that, you try to control the environment of another person, then they tell the universe that you want the you the environment that control of you, and then the universe is okay. We do that for you, but we'll just use the government. And then and then they start crying like why? Uh, because that universal law, maybe? Yes, yeah, see, see, no, no, we oui, we oui, yes, 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 see, yes. I know, I know, I'm amazing. The rationale just fucking pours out of my caca hole. Yep. <clears throat> that, that was for free. Because it's everywhere. Everybody's talking about it. It's not amazing information. But for some, for some, they still don't understand that information. They think it no apply to them, but it apply to everybody else. But the universe is like, bitch, not today. You did not learn yesterday, so we teach you today. <laughs> yes, universe, yes, universe. Mm -hmm. Universe is like smack down, bitch. Punch to back of head, make you eat gravel. <laughs> you crack a couple teeth, and then you cry because your lip bleed. That's just how it goes when you don't want to listen to the universe. Just kick you in head. You might lose a couple of teeth, maybe all of teeth, maybe front part of your face. I don't know. It happens. The more you don't listen, the universe hits harder and harder. And it hits even harder the, the more shit you do. Even I'm like, my mind is still going. I'm like, they're so pastel-y. No. So pastel-y. It's not the red cross. It's the purple cross. You think about that, boys and girls. It's the purple cross. It's two T's. E in a T in a T. The pastelly, pastelly. My neck. I don't have that. I've over. Everybody started out with ovaries. Did you know that? Oh my god, gizzard fart. I did double sniff. <laughs> One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven. Would it be every day? Room. Really past deli. Was it now? It's really past deli. Oh shit. Oh, there's the tea. Where have you been all my life, tea? Where have you been, tea? Where have you been? I was looking for you. I was trying to find you in the sand, tea. Now I see you, tea. Give me that TT. You got the TT. We found the T, bitch. We found the How you like my name? We found the tea. Find the tea. We spill the tea. Apparently, there's tea spilling. In Terra World, there's lots of tea spilling. Just saying. There's a lot of the tea spilling. Oh, I don't want to. Give me, give me that back. We don't abuse the glowstone. Shit. No abusing the glowstone. Yes, no, no, no. You don't abuse the glowstone. You don't abuse the glowstone. It's magical in Minecraft on this map pack. On other map packs, not so much. <laughs> it doesn't look very pretty on other map packs. No, 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 no. Not so much. Or texture pack. Oh shit, did I just get. I got rid of something important, right? Yes, I did. I got rid of the diamond. The pastelli diamond. Yes, we got rid of the pastelli. The past oh, wait. Eh, I don't know. You want to put the tea? You want the fucking tea? You want the tea right there? You want the tea? Can you see the tea? Can you see that tea? That looks kind of cool. Feel like a sinner, don't you? Oh my fucking god, yo! I feel like a sinner. 
I don't. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Can you help me? No. Okay. Cool. This is creepy. And there's so many ways to do this. Why? Well, you can fucking just keep on going with the fucking tea. He is everywhere. Do you see that? Hurting myself. Hurting myself. I'm just hurting myself right now. Uh, I must feel like I have to step away. <laughs> I must feel like I have to step away. Wait, this one is supposed to be blank, right? To be playing with this shit. Have a fucking tea everywhere. What tea fuck? What do you do? What do you do? I don't know, bitches, I don't know, I don't know, bitches, I don't know, bitches, I don't know, bitches, I don't fucking know, bitches, I don't know, whoa, 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 don't talk about the bitch. Then you have more tea. You have a tea there, and you have a tea there, and you got fucking teas everywhere. Help me, little limo. Help me, little limo. Help me. There's so many ways to go about this. Open me. It kind of looks like an Atari game now. Just saying. I think I saw that figure in an Atari game. Just saying. I just do that stuff. That's old school. I know it's old school. I like a like the Atari game, the Atari game, Atari game. Or say which say? Or I can just replace the top. Uh, 
That looks like an Atari game. <laughs> it does. What the fuck does? Does. I guess I'll go with that. Three hundred years later. How many hours later? <laughs> I'm still here. I'm here. I'm here. The game with the pastel diamond and the pastel fucking gold, and then we decided to just. XD on the XD on the, the Pestelli. <laughs> and the X. We're like, we're just gonna go with the fucking T, yo. We went with the T. The T won the war. We didn't know that was a war. The T didn't either. Or, or the gold. Now the gold, no. Oh, the gold's like, but, but you said I was the one. Mm, we changed our mind. Thank God you don't know black magic. Because <laughs> you'd be getting revenge on everybody. You're like, they lied to me. You said I was the one. You said you picked it. I knew this. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 in the sand, in the sand, in the sand, in the sand. We have a winter, my eyeball, my eyelet, uh, my, I'm, Like the edge of my fucking eyelid itches. Ugh. Causing me stress. Move that. I was supposed to go work on the diamond, right? Wait. Yeah. I was. Going to, I was, and then I wandered over here. Wait, no, where did I stand? My mind. Oh shit, I forgot. God damn it.
You know that fucking phrase from the whatever, that spiritual or that Bible, whatever, where they say do un... Like, if they were to tell you you wanted to make a special order request to the universe, and the way to do it was um, do unto others as you want done to you, If you knew that phrase was so totally true, that that was the special order request that you give to the universe, by how you treat others is how the universe will treat you. Now you know, after like all the stuff that I talk about, and even universal law, you know how true that statement is? Do unto others as you want done to you. Literally. Because if you understand universal law, <laughs> that is so true. You want people to care about you. Or want people to be nice to you or the world to be nice to you then be nice to the people in the world imagine now that's even more true more so than you could ever imagine Do unto others as you want them. What you are is what you get. What you get is. So it's almost like like attracts like. For most people. Some other people are on a different mission. But that rule applies for most people. And that's like somebody like me who sits there and thinks that rule applies to them. And everything just goes to shit. People treat them like shit, even though they're nice and loving. And it fucking makes you depressed and shit and makes you hate yourself. And like me, I thought it was my karma. Like I was a shitty ass person before. I was like, yeah, I guess this is my life. It's going to be dookie with people fucking treating me like shit, taking advantage of me, abusing me. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to avoid people. <laughs> I'll take care of my mom. She's my mom. But I was like, I'm just going to avoid other human beings. Except my karma, but I'm not gonna fucking throw my ass out there for someone to fist all crazy. I was like, I'm not gonna be angry and mad, but I'm not putting my shit out there. Literally. Like a free for all, come fist me. No, thank you. I was like, I'm not seeking revenge. I'm not gonna be bitter and angry about it, but I am not letting them. Like all crazy, free for all. I will just stay by myself, limit the amount of fisting. And now to find out, no, it's because you have a different path, purpose. You're, so you're being thrown out there in front of sisters that have been fisting people unjustly. The universe is like, hey, hey, baby. Go out there and let them get mingled in your karma level. Let the games begin. <laughs> Let 
that's what I feel like. Be fucking. Ah, that's what I feel like. That's what I. Wait. Oh shit. Wait. Oh shit. I'm missing. Wait. Uh-oh. We have a problem. Did I miss? Do you want to? It's just like when you do tiles. When you know there's going to be a flaw. You put the flaw corner. Away from view. <laughs> you put it somewhere else. Let me see what the fuck. What would happen? Flaw in the corner where nobody's looking. Put it deep in the corner. Love it. Love it. Probably could shove some more stuff everywhere. Maybe we're open up. Have to look over. Love it. I have to put this shit back. Let me see if anyone can tell me this. Oh, I need to do the diamond count then. Gilla. Oh, look what we did. Look at it right now. Like fuck this shit right now.
I don't even know what time. And what your assistance in your That's why you got to concentrate. Do unto others as you want done to you. That's the request. The fucking, the fucking life menu by the universe. Those are the rules. If you want fuck shit in your life, be the fuck shit. Get all the fuck shit you want. If you want to act like God in someone's life, then someone will act like God in your life. All this nice and fist. If you want, if you want someone to do black magic on you. Black magic under others. The universe will give that to you like a present. If you want to do surveillance on someone, then the universe will provide someone to do surveillance on you. You get what you give. That's the rules. That's the rules. Just not some fucking Bible verse. Haha, uh -huh, the first time a fucking religious shit was speaking some truth to you. Ha ha ho ho. There's the T. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Looks like a fucking furry. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Watch me redo this shit again. You're like, fuck this. I'm supposed to have temperance. No, fuck this. Temperance. Vegetarian temperance. I've been here for like hours. <laughs> yeah, I've been. That's why I'm like, oh my god. I was like, I'm gonna be here for a long time. Two months later. You know why? Because I don't have friends. I don't have a laptop. Or else I'd be harassing H June. I would be. I'd harass that motherfucker. H June, what are you doing? H June, play H June. Can you game make H June? Oh, H June, can you redeem me over your H June? H June! Help me, H June! H June! Help me, H June! This is too much, H June! I died again, H June! The fucking dragon, H June! You know what, well, you know what would happen? H June, the captain saved her. Oh, what happened? Uh, fucking H. And now he looks like a Captain Save a Like, he got that body of a Captain Save a It's like, he got that body. Like, what kind of hoe are you? <laughs> you got that body that you need an intellectual captain saver. You can play that role. You need a uh, you need to you need someone to save you in the game. H, you can play that role. 
You need you need someone to manhandle your body. H two can play that role. Yeah, H two got it all. He's like, "What's your favorite of clap to save a hoe you need today?" <laughs> uh, oh my god! Stop me! No. One, two, three. And he can sing. And he can play the guitar. And he can make money. What the fuck? Go oh, wait. And now he's making friends. He's making the friends. He's making the friends. He's making the friends. Friends, friends, friends. He's making the friends. Um. What am I doing? What am I gonna do? It's gonna be a long, long fight. You won't notice, right? Oh shit! Oh shit! Wait. I was like, did I make it right now? Let me make sure I didn't make it right now. And I have to fucking. We do the redo it. I done all this. All of this. I'm gonna change the center. The resurrection. Start anew. Man, I'm gonna get rid of this. Oak. Seed. Seed. Again. Um, I decided how I'm gonna do the panels and what symbols I haven't even like looked up. Decided.
debating, I'm debating, I'm debating. Or we should. Bring it in a little. Oh my god, that would require digging, right? I do it. It didn't even matter, right? Because I would have to have to keep digging if I have all of that. I'm not digging no more. I'm not doing it. Mm-hmm. Double. Okay. Very cheese, very Hold on, let me finish this.
Does that feel good? Yeah. Not gonna fall. But that looks like it's gonna fall. What? You gonna go protect your stuff? Don't uh, uh, uh. come up here. Oh, it's like right there. I was like, let me look. It's right there. But it's not there. Octopus is like, hit me, hit me. You can't hit me. Octopus. Oh. Off? This is my shit off. That would be horrible. That it's a little bit off. It is. <gasps> Isn't that some dinky dinky? Yeah. Three gold. Six minutes. <laughs> no way, yo. Do some visual gameplay. Uh, why no? I'm taking the visual gameplay. Leave it at the corners, right? Just it all in the corner. Scooch it into the corner. We don't want to know where you fucked up. Keep it in the corner. We don't want to know where you did the.
in the corner. It's time to look aware the best that we can to do nothing at all. So, they're finding it all. Many, how many, how many people going to be It wasn't me. And it's like, oh, they got me. I don't want to count. Off, kind of a little off.
All right. Why am I doing? Wait. I can do it. The fucking weird shit. Hey, it's the mailbox uh, envelope. <laughs> I feel like I need. I need some drugs. Do you have any in your pocket? Do you have any in your pocket? Why must you be so Like, fuck this.
saying. I'm just saying. So dark because it's so weird. I'm gonna make it go deeper. Okay. 
I'll be going. Bring it in. Please, one more time. He wants to die. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him go. 
Yeah, he wanted to die. He wanted me to smack the bejesus out of him. Like, I feel alive when you hit me. Shit, we were dead. We were leaking black stuff. I don't know what that's about. Doesn't sound good. Does not. Oh yeah, you can't see the color under here, right? Uh, party fail. You can't. Under the lights. What is his name? Does, oh, it's white. Ha! <laughs> Party. Uh, ignore me, please. Let me see. I was looking at another screen. And it was not the porn. Don't watch the porn. You get transfer of entities and shit from the porn. And then you get infested with some lustful things. And then you go, wait. And then you lose all your your energies. Your creative juices are on the Neptune. That's if you're a guy, I guess. I guess. Damn. Just saying. It looks the same, right? And things the same. It looks brighter, actually. They all look the same, right? Huh? 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 They all look the same. Does it look the same for the clear? brighter I think not to help you Ooh, I have an idea now that might be will it be brighter will it be brighter I don't know. It came with my jack in the box box. But you, some of you motherfuckers don't know about the jack in the box. You got the prize. Sometimes it would have cool prizes. Like it was like Christmas and shit. The jack in the box. Whenever your parents would buy you some. Yep. We had parents that didn't buy you shit. You found ways to enjoy life. Like going to the library. That was my way of running away from reality. It was the library. Getting books. Like I lived in the library. Like every chance I get I was getting books. Way to run away from reality was books. Was the library? Wait, 
way to run away from reality. I was always reading. I was always caught up in learning a whole bunch of stuff that even adults didn't know, and then, then I would scare them, like with the swastika. In fucking art class. When it was actually a positive spiritual symbol that the fucking Nazis took over. Just like people who are evil take over positive things. Beautiful things and they fucking make it toxic and distort it and flip it upside down and make it backwards and shit. Seems the reincurring theme with evil people. Go figure, right? <laughs> oh my god. I like it. Does it work for you? Does it work for you? It worked for me. It worked for you. It worked for me. It worked for everybody. If it don't work for you, then fuck you. That's your problem. Go make your own Minecraft. I do my Minecraft my, my way. I ask for advice. Nobody answers. So fuck you. You have to take it. So I want to give it to you. You have to swallow it. Even if you choke. This is my Minecraft, and you watch, and many, I'm assuming, probably copy. Copy my Minecraft. He said to be to me, please make me black ink myself. I said, no, I shall not participate in this the abuse of yourself. I'm only here for happy things, happy things, happy things. I'm only here for happy things, happy things. Because I'm tired of the fuck shit. There's been enough fuck shit. My mom's dead. Yep, I threw that in there. Ha, ah, motherfucker. You shall not forget because I don't get to forget.
but these two. I make sure you're that motherfucker that did some drunk driving and killed an innocent female and then for the rest of their life has to send a dollar to that person. I'm that part of your conscience forever. But I'm going to make you pay that dollar like every couple of minutes. I might not be able to
it's just funky, I guess. My god, fucking lizard farts. It's dark. other stuff to do and just sitting there collecting buckles and diamonds for six hours. There's like other projects. Maybe I could come back. idea the concept of it
my brain's not. I'd look at it. I'd have to stare at it. You guys would be bored just watching me stare at it. Make it work. The diamond doesn't want it. It's not ready yet. It's still cooking, I guess. It's still cooking. Unless I shrink it, shrink it down really far. Do that too. I'll figure it out. I go
20 meter barium. There he goes. Stay in his little cavernous cave. He can do it how he wants to do it. I can hear that zombie. Probably in an air pocket somewhere down there. I know I did bury him. <laughs> My mind is just fucking cracking funny. Like. No, they're just cracking funnies. They're like, yeah. Like Ace June. It's like, um, he had a girlfriend and she played Rust. And you could picture his girlfriend like, Ace June, can you build me a house? But it was, Ace June, can you build me a two by four? Like a house? Like in a real, real relationship? And every Ace Good old H June. Building that two by four. Can you build me a house, H June? H June would do it in like five seconds. You turn around and blink, and there's a fucking castle. <laughs> five seconds. They're fucking. Smart asses, they're just smart, smart, smart asses in my head. There we go. I'm going with that. I don't know where the fuck that came from. They just threw that shit in my head.
But then in Minecraft, he he builds like a little like. <laughs> I can't help it. But then in in Minecraft, he builds like a little cave. <laughs> but then he's he's been doing pretty good. That's when I see like, um, there's other people who build less than he does, so he's actually doing really good. Like what's her name? I forgot what's her name. That just built her like little hole in the wall, literally in a uh, a crevice, <laughs> and then the fucking crown. That was cute though. It still was. And they just popped in, and they like, wait, is this her? <laughs> it was. It was literally like a prison cell. It was tiny. But I mean, it did its job. It was cute, though. It was funny because you would have never expected it from her. I liked it. It was funny. I like, fuck it. I say fuck it. I would. Just having fun. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just having fun. Funny, like some of the, the simplest things turn out to be like amazing content, something you don't even expect. It made me laugh, but then it was so cute. And then even the other players like, what? <laughs> and then what, was it H. June that fucking left the door open too? <laughs> when they left her place, <laughs> the fucking chat was like, did he leave the door open? Oh my God, that was funny. That was fucking funny. H. June, I know he read that shit. H. June fucking reads everything. I mean, it's crazy brain. He reads everything and he just like, meh. <laughs> just kept on fucking keeping on. And the chat's like, he left the door open. Kind of like if you get closer and you can tell it's a little off. You can see it, it's a little off. I'm not fixing it. This shit, to, I'm not doing it. I have other shit to do. Maybe later. Maybe if someone stares at it, they'll notice it's a little off. The more I do it, the closer you can tell it's off. And that sucks. It's off by like one fucking brick. Yo. I don't know, maybe can I do it from here? Do I really want to try it? I really don't want to. I don't feel like it. I really don't. I'm not into it. Just saying I'm not into it right now. I have to be into it. I have to be in that flow, you know? I'm not feeling it. My soul is in the sand. Just saying, <laughs> literally, my soul is in the sand. When I'm feeling it, I'll come and do it. Do it. Yeah, you can tell it's off. It's one just by one. Well, I'm making a pyramid. It's gonna be a little off on one side. If you stare at it, don't stare at it. Just say, can I hit it? Don't 
stare at it and you don't stare at it. Understand? But what the but? What the but? With the bot, I think it's off. I might have to stop. A bit. Yeah, you can see right there. Hmm, <laughs> thank you, Dylan. I would have to, what I have to do, I would have to, uh, fix the whole side. Well, it won't be that bad. I'm just not in the mood. It won't be that bad to fix it, but I'm just not in the mood. Do you understand? Like, oh, it sucks that it's off. It does. So it's this whole side, I would have to come in one, right? Well, it's not that bad then. Just to uh, put an extra layer. I think that's what I would have to do. No, wait. Oh no, I'm not using my brain. I have to count all of these. Slowly but surely. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, I was like, it was just the angle. Wait. I need to count all these to figure out which sides I do need to adjust. Wait, didn't I fix that shit? No? Maybe? No answer? Because you guys are bots! You don't know if you like, you just walk by, you're like, ah! And you stare at it and you're like, wait a minute! Under construction, there is so much under construction. Oh, and then that. I'm assuming I'm not going to do the. Hey! Were you looking outside? Where's the. Oh, I was like, where's the other one? What are you doing? Like, bitch, fuck you. We're supposed to be in the ethers. We're part of the four horsemen. Probably were. You probably were. You're right. You're probably right. You were probably part of the four horsemen. And they took that away from you. You can. You for sure gonna blame that.
This is always better when your brain remembers it. And you have a routine. Oh, that other side's gonna be a bitch. Probably way, way fucking go over there. <laughs> That's probably why I don't want to go over there. I know it's gonna be painful. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's gonna be pain. That corner, man. I'm just debating. Uh, you delete this bitch. That would you delete it? Delete. Delete, please. If I had a laptop. This would be some easy shit. But I don't. Cause I have crazy stalker. That ride my fucking two thousand dollar laptop. That I barely even use. I think I watched Twitch for a couple of weeks. Maybe the most. Oof. Just for a couple of weeks. And then the rest was... I played... Um, VR. Four times on it. Not even that long. Four times on it, and the rest was here and there. I would pay my bills. Or not my, that was it. That's all that bitch was ever used for. And it fucking fried itself for nothing. And it still had plastic on it. That's so sad. $2,000. Barely even touched. It was like a virgin. And the first time I was almost like a virgin. Almost like a person. And I had decided not to buy a laptop for a long time because of my hackers. And then I finally decided to, and no, they did what they do. They did what they do. They act fucking crazy. It'll help if I
and all my mind is saying is, how do they not believe in karma? Like, I totally believe in karma. That's why I don't do anything bad, or I try not to be stuck in the negative. And Like, I don't seek revenge, and... So my eyes is like, how do they not believe in the karma? Like, karma has like slapped the shit out of me a whole bunch of times. A whole bunch. A whole bunch. A whole bunch. We're like, mm -mm. I'll sit over here. I'll behave and sit over here. Where I'm like, I can't even be upset. Like, my electronics, like I say, like I'll fucking fuck up the, set off the circuit breakers in my house and make fucking all kinds of weird shit not work and like I can't stay mad. And I had to learn that shit. I had to, I didn't know why, like I always had to get the uh, warranties on everything. It was so bad, man. And I realized, well, like, something must be going on in our family because it's a female thing. My mom would break all the VCRs and my daughter, all of her laptops and her phone. And it was a female thing. And then I realized I can't be angry. Cause I cause it to fucking go haywire, so I learned. And I can't. I cannot. Everything goes kaka laka. And I started noticing, like, if I'm upset and I'm, like, irate, and I'm bitching, and I can make someone straight up have a migraine. I was like, oh, I can do that, too. So I was like, I can't. I didn't. I try not to be, like, irate like that ever around people. I think that was the thing I carried with inside myself, that anger. And I was holding it in and I made myself physically sick like I was killing my own body. <clears throat> I was literally killing myself. Go figure. won't be that bad I just have to figure out how am I gonna 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 how am I gonna
So if by chance I have another kid, by chance if that ever happens, I will have to teach them. Especially if it's a female. <clears throat> about that. <laughs> so we don't have to buy new electronics all the time. Teach them how to calm themselves down. And to not hold it in either where they would start making themselves sick. Like I was always sick as a kid. Always sick. I was always sick. Migraines, gastrointestinal problems, muscle aches, deep bone pain, arthritis, like I had I get I had so much anger and frustration and which made me O C D. So I started like um using like being O C D about things I could control to help calm me down. And like a lot of the repetitive action, it does help. Like I would do to organize random shit. <laughs> Just, but it helps. Help me from destroying myself physically. Because I was destroying myself. All that energy, just holding it in. And I could imagine there's other people and kids that are gifted like that and they're sick all the time that's why their 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 life their home life probably sucks ass and their family members probably fucking treat them like shit it's probably unfair in their home too I would love for them to recognize special gifted children and to catch them early and help them. I would probably start, I want to start a whole bunch of organizations and especially to target gifted people to help them and to encourage them. baby yeah to recognize gifted people and to recognize evil people <laughs> but they don't get away with shit those motherfuckers didn't get away with nothing. What you doing over there, ho? You. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Looking at you. Baby, Wait, oh my God, uh. 
Oh my god, it's still. I did it again. Or you need to go potty? Is that what you need? Where are you at?
This is turned all the way up, right? Yeah, I didn't turn down this time. Fucker. You don't know me. All right. He is not an actor. Good on screen. Goes they know. What you want? That's mine. Watch yourself. I'll fuck you up. Oh, I would love. Nah. Nah, I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm gonna say, now nah, I'm like fucking got eight shooting on the brain. 
So good. Hate shoot. Imagine him singing. You're like, all right, H. June, you can catch me. I am so fucking wet, H. June. Oh, shit. Like, I used to, like, fucking, um, be easy. And then I just got a weird vibe from him, like, he's all, like, a hot mess. And some other stuff. So I'm like, mmm. He looks like he would be a Gemini. He looks like he would be a Gemini for a show. Like, he'd be someone you date if you just wanted a crazy life and just end up fuck shit. Like, he gives that vibe. <laughs> and I, like, oh my god. Stay quiet, just stay quiet. I don't even have to know him and I know shit. And I'm like, just shut up. Can't you just shut up? Shush, 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 and shush, shush. So I'm like, okay, I'll just shush. <laughs> Shush, shush. You know that one, well, when he's in there in the bathroom, you know that shit's real. That's, it's real. He sat there and had that conversation with himself. That's why I'm like, he probably is a fucking Gemini. Like, they literally do have conversations with them. So, like that. It's not funny, but it's funny. Oh no, I was gonna do a flat. What am I talking about? What am I gonna go? about?
Be in my pyramid. I was gonna say period. Be in my pyramid. Everything. Is it with the hair? Not cute at all. Probably gets laid like a motherfucker. Not cute at all. Um. Almost done, oh Lord and Lord.
Oh my god, why is it being crazy now? Oh no, it's not good.
So Done. I guess it wasn't that painful. I thought it was going to be painful. But so I was like avoiding it. There's no way there's that walkway was going around. Nope. Not today. I was too fucking tired for that shit. I was debating to build a type of water thing. Had multiple levels dating. Things were just sitting right there. Sitting right there. I guess, I mean, wait, what else is there? Okay, I did the diamond thing. Finished the pyramid. Why is there this? Oh, that motherfucker. I was like, why is shit missing? That motherfucker. That fucking narcissist is just running around taking my shit. I think he even took one of my fucking, um, one of my beach things. I was wondering where did it go? I that motherfucker took the whole thing. Fucking asshole. What a fucking ding dong. What a weirdo. And then I need to make a uh, count of... I have to do the count of all these spaces so I can figure out what shape I'm putting, which shapes I'm putting where. This thing's empty. It actually looks clean. Like that. And then uh, these two shapes I actually want to put in sky platforms. Like repeating them. They'll take me a while. It will take me a while. Especially like, um, well, that too. Weaving it with the glass. Oh yeah, the symbols, what they meant.
need to switch fast. I can't review it like that. It's annoying. Flower of life. Seems to represent perfection and harmony. Reflects the fundamental forms of space and time. Seed of life. Taken from the inner seven circles of the flower of life symbol. Represents consciousness of God, the creator. Seed of life. These symbols are so fascinating. Okay, the hot one is Martina. Martina is a sign of light and fire. It shows two roosters that are awake in the early morning and are the light messengers. It is a sign of warmth and light that holds particular importance in winter. Martina is also represent, representative of a new beginning in winter when life may seem gum. But it is growing in the ground. And then the one on the bottom is Ostras Cooks. Depiction of world order, Ostras Cook. Cooks is a symbol of guarding what is beautiful and valuable. It is seen as representing luck and success. Ostrich Cooks is a stylized oak tree to show the tree of life and its three worlds, past, present, and future. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of
Um, I have to fill all these in, but I know it'd be boring. <laughs> Guys. Mm -mm. I still have to fill this shit in. Panties. <laughs> yeah, but oh my glasses, they won't. Oh my god, headset, stop. I am hot. Oh my god. I had stuff. I don't know. I'll just let my mind wonder. I don't know. I didn't realize it was going to be this much work. It's a lot. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to just make it really big. Yeah, you go. You're really big. And Don on me about like, yeah, filling it in the sand. You know, all the digging and then filling it in. Uh. That thing went out. <laughs> Ow. I'm sorry. That ass, you got that good ass.
I kind of wish I knew like everything what was going on and then I know like in actuality I wouldn't want to know everything that's going on because I get really emotional about stuff and things like really get to me. That's one of the main reasons like I can't I can't watch stuff like the news. I have to keep believing that everything well I know it's not just believing I know things are going to change and be better. I can't focus on the if that's that they allow they want everyone to see because everything's always an agenda everything if not most of it's a lie at least half of it like I already have enough shit going on in my own personal life I'm trying to organize it Sift to it, energetically, find the lie and the truth. But they want everybody to stay in a negative state and use everybody to manifest by telling everybody what to believe. So they make it real. Like, see, if I had a laptop while I'm doing this, I would actually post videos, like, in the corner of my stream. I would do that.
I wouldn't mind if my There's a flag over there. I forgot that Enderman goes around stealing stuff. Like, why is shit missing? Well, now we're, we don't want the other. I can't even speak. We won't need to wear fashionable masks anymore. I'm really excited for the future. You guys have no idea. Oh no, I'm not signing in. Even though people have lost things, it doesn't mean it's the end. It just means you get to rebuild it new, but without Fuck shit energy attached to it. I 
and everything can be changed. Everything. Everything can be made better. You just have to find your flow. The path you're supposed to be on instead of resisting everything. Instead of focusing on somebody else and something else and basing uh, your success on someone else's success. The only, per the only thing you should be comparing yourself to is yourself. Not someone else. Or something else. Then you shouldn't focus on your failures or your mistakes. It should be, did you learn? Did you improve? Did you make a change? And you have, if you have karma to deal with, find ways to burn the karma up. Oh my God, people just get so stuck on it. There's no shortcuts on that either, though. But there are many ways to burn karma up, especially saving someone's life. Especially if you've been running around taking lives. If you've been stealing, that means you're going to have to start giving. You can even talk to the universe if you truly, 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 truly are sorry. You're truly, truly, truly making a change the universe knows. And if you're you're sitting there trying to make make amends to other people trying to pay back, the universe will help you. But if you're doing it for an agenda where like, oh, you're tired of suffering, well then I guess you need more time to think about it, I guess. But if you truly are authentic and have changed, there's always a way. There's always a way. The universe doesn't just leave you like that. So you have to undo everything you did. If you're taking, you have to give back. If you took lives, you have to save lives. Even if you're stuck in 3D laws, the universe is amazing how it can work things, even though your situation might still be the same, but how you feel about it, how it's, you perceive it, and how it's,
it just won't be as bad as you, it was supposed to. Like the universe can alter something about it in a way that you couldn't imagine. And then in the end, you'll reach a point where you're like, you're even thankful that you're there. Because then you'll, you'll realize where you were heading before was way more, it was fucked up. I got this. <laughs> I'm gonna be whining. There's so much sand. Oh. I was like that about the digging. There's so much digging. I was on a mission, yo. I was like, I'm gonna get this all done. So it'll be there like a fucking canvas all ready for me to fucking just start designing.
I can't wait to like <sighs> to have the full streaming setup. Camera cameras cuz I'm going to be doing different types of streams. I wouldn't mind like um like I want like a bigger house and cameras around my house so I could have cameras all the time or actually having like some type of drone. So whenever I get my downloads which are random, like I could just talk as as I get my downloads. And whatever I'm watching or doing or even traveling. Letting people see the process. So they can learn how to sit in the emptiness. You get used to it instead of pushing that trying to fill the emptiness with a whole bunch of bullshit which is it is all bullshit and i know it's hard for you guys to imagine that's what's supposed to be normal quiet total quiet in your head that the chattering in your head the non-stop that's not normal at all and that all the things because of the chattering it's almost like getting fucking gang stalked by yourself <laughs> getting gang stalked in your head or or um peer pressured and then, then when you're used to the emptiness, when someone comes towards you with some bullshit you don't care for, you're like, fuck you, get, get the fuck on. Instead of like, talking, your, like trying to pressure yourself or letting them pressure you. Because you would, you would appreciate your own emptiness. Then you'll realize all the other shit is bullshit. That it doesn't matter, especially if it doesn't bring you happiness and it brings you confusion. Then you'll realize that shit, you know what? Get the that shit out of here. You get out of here and get that shit out of here. You don't help help my You're not someone that promotes my sanity. You're not someone that promotes my calm. You're not someone that improves my life. Get the fuck out of here. And then when you're used to the emptiness, then like you'll feel someone else's craziness. Like I'm saying like crazy, like other people's energy, their craziness, it gives me a headache. And then to me, like, it just seems to me, it seems like a uh, word salad, like a narcissist, like jibber jabber. Like, oh, it's like, I can't. And especially like the energy that's coming off of them and then what co is coming out of their mouth doesn't match. It makes you look at them really weird. <laughs> and you just like, you know what? I'm just going to sit here and just pay attention to what the fuck is coming off of you and what you're saying. Because something doesn't seem right and you do not bring calm into my life. You do not make me feel like I should be here. That this is where I'm supposed to be.
like, I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? Oh my god, cow. Get your stupid ass up. Move, cow. I know zombies miss me. I know my zombies miss me. My zombies. It'd be crazy seeing people that don't be it's gonna be about being authentic because you have no choice because everybody's gonna be all psychic <laughs> you're just gonna have no choice you're gonna have to be authentic and then when you're not people can sense that and they're just gonna look at you or look at you all weird and avoid you then everybody will just all they want to do is like shadow work and all kinds of other stuff discovering themselves because all they'll want to be is authentic they don't want to be looked at all weird or avoided like a plague everybody will just see you as toxic as fuck and the energy will just like be so annoying when you're not authentic and you're all chaotic and hiding stuff. Like people will want to do the work.
Oh my god, gotta be here like that. And seeing kids at a very young age being so emotionally regulated. It'll be weird for a while. Why are you fucking with my team? Oh my god. Build it up, yeah. Oh my god, cow, get out of the way. You know, I've seen a, a name Mill over and over again, and I'm wondering if that name is the name of some people who have been doing fucked up shit. The other people. Mills. M I L L S. I am very curious. Fill all these bad boys up. Can't believe it is almost done. Oh my. And I get to start slamming some fucking symbols. And then after that would be the sky platform. I don't know where the universe is taking me from there, but I know that's what they do in the wild. I know they want me to learn symbols. 
and the rune and um sacred geometry probably to go outside too go outside in the sun and probably do some qigong i've been wanting to do that for a long time qigong and yoga and yoga and make friends with people that too i need to i have to start talking to people gonna be weird i'm gonna feel like i'm starting my life all over like brand new i'm different very different i'm same but i'm different and i expect a lot more from people now a lot more from people Not tolerating no drama, no fuck shit, no stupidity, chaos, drama. Since I already know where it escalates to. For me, I already know where it escalates. People being dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh. Oh. oh, shit. Those fuckers having a party over there. We're having a meeting on the next full moon. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. That's that's what I. Uh. We're all gonna meet up at nightfall and be naked in our robes. I'll email you the ritual. <laughs> In the target <laughs> and the supplies we'll need everybody has a responsibility that's a meeting that they're having over there and then the sun comes up and they poof, they all catch on fire i'm burning i'm burning <laughs> you didn't say this would happen yeah bitch that's what happens got yourself caught up in some shenanigans now you're on fire
They're on fire. The conversation in my head. Like, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm not. Did I even say the conversation? People might not like it. All I hear is maybe it's too soon. Because I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. Everybody's going through stuff. Some people are learning and some people don't learn. Some people are going to keep on going through stuff. But I like for me the like I don't know. They couldn't even take constructive criticism. Oh my god, lizard fart. And even though I'd said stuff that was to help people, they fucking came after me. So imagine, um, like I'm saying this other stuff, they're gonna really. Like... <laughs> I mean, I guess. Maybe it is too soon for some of you guys, but eventually you're going to be able to laugh at it once you get better. Because either you have to laugh at it or you cry. And I know you guys are, some of you guys are mad because some of you guys did get fucking screwed over, lied to, and got caught up in some shit. I guess, I guess for me, maybe I can laugh at it because it's not me. I won't lie, I'm like, thank God it's not me. But still, I went through a lot of shit for two and a half years. Being traumatized and scared out of my fucking mind while trying to uh, not get fucking thrown in a padded room because nobody believed me. And then I had my own fucking family not believe me and I had to sit there and act normal and shut the fuck up while trying to do my best to stay safe. While trying to not give anybody any reason to fucking put me in a padded room or have me arrested or take things away from me or get my used information and get me all caught up in shit while trying to fucking keep my animals safe my mom safe and so yeah but my mom's dead you guys are still alive. Most of you guys, unless you guys did some fuck shit, you still have your mom and dad and brothers and sisters and loved ones. And you don't have animals and people that are dead because of somebody else because you were being nice. And 
than to have people do that to you when you don't even know who the fuck they are. Don't know shit about them. Especially why everything happens happened makes no sense to you. Especially when people come after you for something they could do or have themselves. Or they might already have, they just didn't want you to have it. That's crazy. But all this, in the end, it's saving a lot of lives, changing a lot of lives for the better, even though a lot of people might not want it, it's helping them, it's helping everybody. And it's going to help every a lot of people to find their path and be on the right path. And then it won't be for people who are fucking mind controlled or possessed or whatever. And maybe people who can can expel all that. Being around the right people, around the right energy. And then where doing the right thing won't fucking feel like um, the wrong thing because of your environment. when it's like safe to do the right thing. We won't have having people trying to fucking do black magic meeting up on moon cycles or sending a fucking voodoo priestess or whatever the fuck they're called after you and shit uh just because you're trying to help people oh my god why I didn't fuck up my speakers, eh? You're gonna make me change.
attacks are jumping around. I fuck with my phone.
<laughs> no, what the fuck I'm watching. Fucking smite? Is that smite? Master blade smite. Oh my god, piggy move. No idea what the fuck I'm watching. Fucking around. <laughs> Have to fucking be a. Oh my god. Have to be a fucking regular human being. And have to socialize and have friends and shit. It's gonna be interesting. I've been a hermit for a while. Since I got sick. Like I have to be a real human being in like real life and shit. Yeah, fucking get back. Socialize with family and friends. Well make friends and <laughs> my family, fuck. I've been All by myself. Everybody probably thinks I was just being an asshole when they have no clue the truth about everything. It'll be so nice to work with people that are not cuckoo crazy. No offense to the cuckoo crazies. Kind of burnt out and salty by cuckoo crazies. I realize some of you motherfuckers just have some real shit going on in, in your world and in your head. And in your own families. Reason why you are the way you are. You do the things that you do. But you guys have some really crazy shit going on. I know you have some real crazy shit going on. For you to do the things you've done and the way you behave, you have to have some real shit going on, man. And Cal, quit staring at me. Like, she hit me, she hit me. Wah. Bacon and bacon. Bacon one and bacon two. Yeah, there's bacon three. You guys need water? Oh, 
shit. Up on the couch, I'm gonna start hurting my neck. Oh my god, pig. What you doing? Wanna fight? You go out there and do some fucking gizzard farts? You did the I'm gonna get your num <gasps> I'm gonna get your num nums. Get all your num nums. What? Why are you looking at me? You gonna come up here? You dig it? Yeah, you better watch it. That would be weird. I thought about a taxi seat with someone. I know I'm sharing personal stuff. I think that'll be weird because it's been a long time.
Look at that ass. Ass and the nips. Give me the ass and the nips. Give me the ass and the nips. The ass and the nips. I can feel you staring at me. I wish I could share videos of my dogs, but I can't. People like to do weird stuff out of just jealousy or whatever. But my dogs, they act funny. Like my male dog, he's a little bit cockeyed. You can't tell him unless he he gets really excited. His eyes get really wide, and then you could tell the difference in the white in the eyes. <laughs> so when he gets really excited, his eyes get really wide, and his one gets cockeyed, so he looks a little weird. And that looks funny when he gets excited. So it makes his face look even weirder. Especially when he's trying to give you the mean look. And then two of his teeth on accident got knocked out <laughs> we're playing because they were like crooked so two of them stuck out further than like his other teeth and we're playing around and like he like nips at my hand and he'll like hit my nail or something or my knuckle the wrong way and it knocked those two teeth out so he has gaps now and then the gaps and then the cockeyedness he makes the funniest faces Especially when he's trying to look like he's vicious, it just looks funny. He's so weird, like, the for, like, a couple of weeks, I haven't found the, his right snack, the right snacks, where he'll sit there, like, he doesn't, he won't eat it, like, for hours, and sometimes, like, a day or two, he'll just save it, but he likes to, like, guard it, and he wants you to bug him, like, he, he wants you to try to reach for it, like, he's totally entertained by it. So I could feel him sometimes because he wants to play and he'll like stare at me. I can feel him. I could hear him breathing really hard, but he's staring at me. And he'll do stuff like his snack. He'll bring it and like drop it right at your feet and act like he's burying it in front of you. Like he's trying to tease you. Like He's like silly. Because he wants you to notice. 
Or like, he'll do asshole things like he'll put his snack like in the middle of where everybody's at or someone's going to walk or then start growling. Like, dude, you just put it in the middle of everybody. Of course, someone's going to be next to it. So it's like he wants to play. So he makes sure it's somewhere where you, you he has to like respond to you on purpose. He's such a he's funny. I didn't see lines on these ones. Oh, they're not huge. The other ones are huge. It would be nice to talk about whatever I want without having the risk of offending anybody. And as all this mess is taken care of and organized and I know who's who. Who did what and what happened and I know who I can trust. He's part of my team without an agenda. I don't know, I'll probably be branching off. Probably primarily doing other things. I'll still be streaming every once in a while, probably. Like gaming, but I have a feeling I'll be doing other stuff. Probably be very busy. Very, very busy.
Oh my god, the fucking cow. Move your fucking fat ass. It'll be kind of weird that I tried my best to all this time trying to fit in in a community that was tacking the shit out of me. And I just end up branching off after all this time. But I'll be everywhere. My guy, weren't you on fire? What happened to you? You have a special ring or something? Oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. When you get out the way. But I'll be everywhere. My name will be everywhere. Doing all kinds of stuff involved in all kinds of communities and people and groups around the world. And meeting other weirdos like me. Working with other weirdos like me. Ten years from now, we're going to look back and be like, what the fuck went on? <laughs> like, wow. It'll be like a dream. We're going to look back and be amazed at what the fuck went on. How things went down. How things have changed and the old us is gone and dead. And how we keep changing every month we're changing. Every couple of weeks we're changing. Every week we're changing. A little smarter, a little more loving, a little more aware. A little more balanced. Learning, I know, a lot of learning tonight. Teach himself.
learning who they actually are instead of all this avatar we have of ourselves because of our environment and what people expect of us. That we finally discover ourselves, who we are, what we can do, what we like, what we don't like. Not based off of someone's expectations. And then understanding that people that don't let us be who we are or what we choose, that they don't really love us. It's all about how we can, how they benefit from being around us or how we can do something for them or how we treat them or what can we give them. When they don't fucking let you be you and are happy about it, then it's just about them. Then you don't need people like that in your life. Oh my god, pig. So much going on in the background. See in a hole? <laughs> I was like, what? The fuck? I go to McDonald's now. Fucking cows and the pigs and the sheep and the dogs and the bone men and the fucking dirty dick and the 
Jigglers. Moaners. The ducks. The chicken ducks. Over this. Looks all desolate. There's no trees. I'm supposed to make it all homey and like relaxing and zenny. It looks like it's really soft. I really like this map pack. It's clean. This is so clean. Wild. <laughs> I was like, what am I going to do? Just try to just do random stuff. There. I don't know if it really bad, but it wasn't. As long as I didn't have the other thing that got me stuck.
I don't know why I did all that. But I guess it was for that. If you knew uh, I was saying I wouldn't have dug that up, my dumb ass would have dug it up. Would have dug it up. Just because. Let up. Turn off. Wait, do I want to put sand? I don't know. Great foresty. I'll just bring it like I don't want it to take too much of the water. I like the water. Unless I just make this even a thinner strip, push it back. So I can square it off. I don't want it too much in there. Square it off about there. I'll do it like offline. Have that out of the way. Or they look kind of cool, huge though, like that. I mean, I could build like a small, like a waterway here. With trees, make a small one. Like this section here.
maybe have let me see a symbol here. Symbol like at the corner. Go here. Now I'm gonna get off and then thank marble. Rock Sessy? Rock Sessy? Rock Bro X Sessy? Rock I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching. I don't know if uh I'll be on later on today, or I'd say tomorrow. But for sure the next day. And I'll probably have done some stuff as usual. And I don't know if I'll get downloads. They haven't given me any big major downloads. I think everybody's like, I have a feeling everybody's processing stuff. Everybody's relaxing and trying to organize their their thoughts. <laughs> their thoughts now thoughts like has a new me like a don't shit. And everybody's trying to uplift themselves. I know they are and trying to organize things, figure things out. And I know I'm like, I'm not the only one providing information. And you know, as I'm learning, like all you guys are learning a lot of stuff, especially about yourselves and about the people around you. And you have to make a lot of intense decisions the fact you're learning about yourself and then the purple pe purple the people around you it and you have to make some big decisions to separate yourself from them for yourself especially if you want to go where everybody else is going Especially, you know, the people around you aren't going to make it there. You have to decide you're choosing yourself or you're choosing to, I don't even want to say it, like drown with them. If they're on a sinking boat or a sinking ship. And then you got to think about your families too. Or maybe it's your family you're leaving. It just sucks. It took me, like I said, like 10 years to get out of it. 10 fucking years. And you guys have to do it in a couple of weeks or a couple of months. Or a couple of days. Who fucking knows, depending on your situations. But it's either you save yourself or you go down with them. Literally. Literally, when you know some people, they just choose not to or don't care to or they're just so destructive, there's nothing you can do. That shit sucks. I feel for a lot of you guys. I really do. But it gets better. It has no choice because it's been so fucking shitty.
again thanks for watching